and welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Thursday the 16th of November. The local media headlines today. Now, how much do you know about the Mid-Cornwall Metro? Chances are not much. Possibly you've never even heard of it because so far there's been no public consultation or engagement about what's supposed to be a £60 million project to tart up the railway between Newquay and Falmouth. There's no need to worry, the government's going to pay for everything and as far as Cornwall Council's concerned, it's just free money. Unless the construction falls behind schedule and the costs overrun, in which case the extra money will have to come from local taxpayers. But hey, that sort of thing doesn't happen to big rail projects, does it? If you're interested in what the council's up to with all the bulldozers at Langarth on the west of Truro, they have finally got round to submitting a planning application. It'll be interesting to see what rugby fans have to say. And planners have voted to reject proposals for more holiday homes at Mineporth near Falmouth. The BBC was among the media to report the death of a large fin whale washed onto the beach at Newquay. The 52-foot animal was found by surfers yesterday morning. The cause of death isn't yet known. Pirate FM covered attempts to improve safety for paddleboarders. The Falmouth Packet reported the latest farm animal cruelty case to come before the courts in Cornwall. The Cornish Times had the latest on that rumpus over threats to withdraw school buses. And finally, Cornwall Live warns it's going to be a bit wet today. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.